I guess yeah, I should say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard of Miyazazi. There you go. And uh, no, so, how are you feeling so far? How are you feeling about this tournament? How are you feeling about the game, really? Um, I'm really liking the game. I think it, um, I love the pacing of it. I, there's a reason it's three stocks. And um, I enjoy the shield changes, how, you, how much pressure you can apply, how um, nerfed grab out of shield is, all that good stuff. And um, about this tournament, I'm liking, uh, I used Moosh's teachings on the Belmonts to help me get through losers round one. And um, I'm waiting on a Moosh's match right now. But more importantly, we got... It's true, so... Uh, Delphi, either, I played Travesty round one, and I actually took game one. Yeah. And... Um, and then, uh, and then the uh, the two zero from from Travis. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't want to say that out loud, man. But <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah. rough. What happened was he won Palutena game one. I won. He kind of boxed me game two with Palutena, so I was going to take him to WarioWare, and he pulled out his Ridley, which I wasn't expecting. Palutena, an <laughs> incredibly just, popular character pick. Yeah, we saw certainly. a few Palutenas in the top eight at Let's Make Moves. Among them, of course, Nairo and Jen from the House of Three Thousand. We could be seeing another Palutena in top eight from Travesty breaking out the Ice T tag. Yo, shout out to Ice T. These are some. Uh, he's edge canceling those teleports, right? I believe so. Because that was um, throwing me off a little. Yeah, well, Delhi looking to throw off a few of these stocks. Hits the Gordo with the hammer with DDD and Neutral Air. Gets him off stage and into the advantage. Yeah, with DDD, I've been trying to figure out like how exactly you control the Gordo. But, it's uh, a it's it's a matter of subtlety. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, <laughs> but um, Gordos aren't going to do much to edge guard a teleport recovery like that, unfortunately. But they're still out there as a threat. Shields the Gordo. Easier you can, said than done. You can hit them back, I believe. I believe you can. I mean, you do have that down B of Palutena's. Not going yeah, to come out a, there. He will lose stock number one. Yeah, if you want a guaranteed reflect, Palutena's, Palutena's got it. But I think you can actually, like, hit them back or something. Something that, like that. That Palutena neutral air hitbox stays out for so long. And it strings I mean, together as well. Yeah. No, you're, uh, you get one, you get two usually. Yeah, big combo potential. And that up bear as deadly as ever. He will take stock number two. And he's sitting only at 23%. Delhi. And this is, uh, you gotta think, uh, DDD, as solid as a DDD, as solid a DDD as he is, Deli, oh, right now, egg. just, I mean, he's combo food right now for this Palutena. It's yeah. not really a whole lot that he can do, aside from just kind of hope for those big hits in neutral. I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of Palutena's auto vertical. I feel like it barely ever works out. It just, like, tacks, I mean, I guess it tacks on some damage, but, um,. Well, it's a move or get hit kind of thing. You do need to respect it yeah. in that regard. Oh, looking for the read. But does the teleport edge cancel? Perfect spacing on the edge cancel. I mean, on the explosive flame. Again. Yeah, and uh, he's spacing these things out just perfectly. Super armor on the up B. Parry. Parry, parry but not going to do it. He's going to keep himself alive for just a little longer. Will it be long enough to take stock number two? Travesty sitting at 133. Oh. Hits the Gordo right back. However, DDD says, no, 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 take it. I insist. And indeed, Travesty does. He will lose stock number two. Now he's back in the game. Yeah. It's 109%. It's not oh, impossible. He just, he just inhaled an auto reticle beam and spit it back out. It just didn't do anything. Yeah, no, that's got that's got to mess up your digestive tract, man. That's, that can't possibly be healthy. <laughs> Oh, oh looking that's for the what I was talking about. You can hit the yeah, see? Yeah, strange can... interactions, man. Yeah, I'm like it's a little tricky because the hurt the hitbox on them is pretty big. Yeah. And rage being not nearly as much of a factor as it was, that back air is going to take it. Certainly. And uh Travesty I mean playing incredibly well and uh really just playing the matchup as well as uh as you should be doing Palutena against DDD. Not a whole lot of options that Delhi had, and he looked like he was uh, really just getting trapped by all the options that Travesty had. Just a, yeah. it really, really just like a buffet. You take whichever one that you want, and you know you leave that DDD with absolutely nothing to inhale. Yeah, certainly. So what are you uh, what are you seeing, or 
Oh. Anticipating from Delhi, oh my gosh, from the Pokemon trainer. I can see why he would pick this because um, Palutena is a pretty tall, big character, and Squirtle, on the other hand, is very small and hard to hit. Gonna be a lot of sticking and moving with uh, with Squirtle, is what you're thinking. Yeah. I'd like to see him use some um, run up F tilt because F tilt can combo into itself four times if you do the, you know, um, how if you F tilt, if you. How you tilt if you tilt during the slide animation of run turn around you actually slide a little so you can use that to slide forward and connect like four f tilts in a row but that said squirrel has way more options than that he has i remember leffen described him as like the new chic of this game in the sense that oh oh but killed so early <laughs> killing off the top at 76 percent that is the downside that's an incredibly light yeah, uh, character. So now the Ivysaur, which again, good combo potential from this character as well, and zoning capabilities also. So you might be seeing that down B uh, come out from Travesty at the very least in neutral when he has time to measure it out. But yeah, good counter to that Razor Leaf. Yeah, or maybe he just doesn't need to. He's right in the face of that Deli, Ivysaur. Delhi's just trading right now, and it's not going to work out for him at this rate. No, this is a full stock lead for Travesty. He has no real need. To uh, yeah, to approach the game, does Travesty? He's letting it come right to him, and into the awaiting wand of Palutena. Oh okay, my! Like Good di though from Delhi, and he will flare blitz to get back onto the stage. Okay, a little bit of got, extra weight couldn't possibly some, hurt either. He's got some rage, to, a little, just a little bit of rage to work with. That could do. That could do something. However, the down air. Gets him off stage and into disadvantage, and he can recover, but no, nope. not from that. He'll lose stock number two, and meh. out comes the Ivysaur once again. Just wasn't doing nearly oh, enough great as pivot. Squirtle to make it a respectable option. The F Smash from Ivysaur will take it there, but again, you're having to make up two stocks here. What uh, what can Deli do uh, do here in order to take this? He needs. I think right now he needs to switch to Squirtle and rack up a lot of percent. Um, I don't think I've. Oh, and there you go. It's, that's uh, pretty much a concession from Delhi. None too happy about it. Travesty takes it 2 0, showing why he is a former PR player. Ah, I see. I was wondering. He seemed pretty good when I played him. Oh, Travesty.